Welcome to Friday Wrap Up, people. This is your boy, Eclectic Enigma. And once again, I'm here to wrap up a week's worth of news for you. So, as always, we're going to start it off with the Nilla Please Awards. Do you want to hear something uber crazy? A 23-year-old committed armed robbery and tried to use an Uber as a getaway vehicle. Look at his mugshot. He's looking all sad in his muggy. Stop robbing people and you won't have to worry about getting a Booty Warrior special. No, please. Next up, we got 23-year-old Marie Beal. She was arrested for live streaming herself drunk driving. I am really drunk. people who saw her drunk driving and streaming it they called the police and the police got up with her they pulled her over she hit the curb she had a flat tire she refused a breathalyzer and she failed the sobriety test i gotta tell you old girls about as intelligent as a decapitated donald trump not only do you drive drunk you live stream it she was like oh my god i'm drunk let me stream it oh my god oh my god i'm drunk Woohoo! Let me find some pumpkin to spice. Now here's a kicker. Her lawyer is gonna enter a not guilty plea saying he needs to see more evidence because she's probably not guilty. Bitch, what? No, please. Next up, your boy Mr. Delivered is back. He got him a new boo and he's not gay no more. Why you always lying? No, please. The last recipient of the No Please Award is a woman in Anchorage, Alaska. She got naked and trashed the subway. Now, I got the exclusive scoop on the rumor of what really went down. Check it out. Your boy Jared hit her up in the Disney chat room and said he had a foot long for her and wanted to meet her at Subway. So when they met at Subway and he saw that she was actually way, way older than 11 and when he was looking for it, then he told her he only had a four inch for her and he decided to leave. So what she did was she went looking at the bread and measured it and it happened not to be 12 inches. So since she was looking for a foot long, she was highly upset and she hid in the bathroom for over two hours. The employees of Subway tried to get her out of the bathroom, but she was in there working on a master plan. Finally, she opened the door and when she did, she was standing there naked with fecal matter all over her hands. Her clothes were gone. She ate them joints. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, an employee's phone rang and her favorite song came on. Hey, don't drop that da -da -da. As it turns out, she was on that new drug. Well, do the law. To the no, 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 please. Let's get to some real news. I first want to give big ups to my homie Lupe Fiasco, my favorite rapper. He started a nonprofit aimed to help entrepreneurs turn their ideas into startup. Next up, we got big ups to Warwick Dunn. He just helped his 145th single parent family purchase a new home. So I hadn't heard anything about that ever. I was real big ups to him for that. Now, my people, I don't know if you remember the redneck rebel flag waving psychos that crashed a black child's birthday party riding around and shouting the n-word at them well guess what they got indicted on gang terrorism charges keyword terrorism now hopefully justice will actually get served and as many of you know democratic debate was the other night and it was some good stuff going on uh, bernie sanders to me won it you probably thought hillary won it whatever what i want to talk about though is something a little more deep I don't know if many of you know this, but prior to the 1960s, African Americans primarily uh, voted with the Republican Party. The reason for that is that was a party that wanted to free the slaves and whatnot. In the 1960s though, one voice changed that and led blacks to vote primarily like they do now, 90% almost, with the Democratic Party. That voice was Barry Goldwater. Even though more Republicans voted for the Civil Rights Act than Democrats, Mr. Goldwater was the face of the Republican Party. He basically pulled in Southern white voters that were against the Civil Rights Act. Why do I bring this up? The Republican Party has been on a downward spiral ever since. They get more racist year by year. Take a look at these tweets and thoughts by Mike Huckabee. I mean, Mike Huckabee. And you can see where his head is as a Republican. Also look at these tweets by Randy Pullen. As you can see, both of them have the same racist mindset. Their mindset seems to be right along with the racist party leader, Donald Trump. Both of them are also unapologetic in their racism. They lack knowledge and focus. Their hate and their ignorance, it runs deep. And both parties don't mean much to us right now as it is, but the GOP, they are some shit. Mike Huckabee and his dog-killing son are everything that's wrong with America in this current state. 
He's an uneducated religious nut job that needs to be stopped. It doesn't matter who we put in the White House if the star player is surrounded by a bunch of scrubs that want to see him fail. Him or her fail. I would love if every one of you tweeted these two asshats and told them how you really feel. This isn't a game anymore. And if it is a game, how many of you are playing and how many of you are spectators in this sport? I say we all rush the field. That's Friday wrap up. Holla at your boy!